worse than last year and the year before. We've already seen as many cases of flu right now as we did of all of last year. Pediatrician David Hottie says so many kids are showing up to his Georgetown office with the flu, it's hard to keep up. It's a little bit more difficult to get the flu test um, because of the demand so much higher. Uh, many of our providers uh, of the flu test are on back order. His office is now using a different kind of test. It's not as fast, but it's been easier to get. In this flu season, he's had times where he can't offer tests at all. There's some kids that are um, borderline. You think they might have it, but you're not sure. And it, it really helps to uh, get an answer for them. For those patients, Hottie says he treats them for the flu, and he thinks he may have to do that more. If the flu continues to be as prevalent as it is, it's just going to be as difficult uh, to get that. At this point in the season, it seems like everyone at least knows someone who's had the flu. Fortunately, I have not, and I hope not. Ed McKelvey says he's hoping to make it through the season without catching the illness. I'm getting closer to spring, and so I'm crossing my fingers that everything will be okay. But Hottie says there are still at least two months left of flu season. Covering the news in Scott County, Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News.